Hey, welcome to Max Guys Music. I'm Max Guys, your teacher for, well, maybe a couple of minutes. This week we are covering the great classic and easy to play riff, Don't Fear the Reaper by the great American rock band Blue Oyster Cult. This song comes from the band's 1976 album, Agents of Fortune, and uh, was written by the guitar player Donald uh, Dharma Roser, Buck Dharma Roser, and, uh, you know, was, uh, you know, well, deals with death. Don't fear the reaper. I remember this song as do many people of perhaps my generation and younger, uh, made famous in the sketch uh, with Will Ferrell and Christopher Walken. I think that was in uh, the year 2000, the year 2000, the year 2000 when they did uh, the More Cowbell uh, sketch, which I think still lives on an in infamy. Putting the More Cowbell bit aside, this is a classic rock and roll riff features a minor progression very simple to play can't wait to teach it to you so let me go ahead and show you how to play it so there's really just a couple things to talk about to learn this riff don't fear the reaper by blue oyster cult the first part is it features three chords here an a minor uh, chord note we're not playing the index finger since this riff is an arpeggiated riff meaning we're playing it one string at a time we don't need to lay down the whole a minor chord the next chord shape will be the bottom part of a G chord. We're going to use our middle and index fingers to play that. The following chord shape is probably going to be the most challenging for a beginner player. Um, index finger on the sixth string first fret, ring finger on the fifth string, uh, <laughs> ring finger on the third fret, fifth string, and the two open strings. If that is too tough, you could use your pinky right there instead. Now, with the right hand, trickiest bit is the picking pattern. Note it's mostly downs, but it's not strict alternating or not only downs. We're always going to strive to hit, for the most part, um, the open G string with an up. The exception is the very first chord, so I'll walk through it slowly. Down, down, up, down. so forth. One of the things you'll notice in that slow example is every time I'm hitting the open G string, that is an opportunity for my left hand to transition to the next chord. So check it out. Down, down, up. Sorry. Check it out. Down, down, up. I tell all my students is the right hand leads the left hand and so utilizing that open string as a transition makes this riff very easy to play which is a good thing because as you know blue oyster cult blue <laughs> as you know blue, blue oyster cult wow that is a tongue twister um plays it rather quickly <laughs> If you look at the chords, A minor, G, F, and then back to G, well that is a very common minor chord cliche that is shared by numerous songs. Just a couple off the top of my head, I think of songs like All Along the Watchtower, Stop in the Name of Love, Rolling in the Deep by Adele, the last part to um, Stairway to Heaven, of course by Led Zeppelin, and so, and we could say Don't Fear the Reaper, so that uh, A minor, G, F progression, G, uh, very frequently used. However, like all bands, you know, uh, this band found their own unique way to play this really common progression. And arguably, the moment you hear this this uh, guitar part, you know exactly what song it is. In fact, I can hear the sound of the cowbell immediately. Even though it doesn't come in for a while. So there you go. So that progression, if we were given it Roman numerals, that is the minor one. Flat seven major, the flat six major, the flat seven major. Hey, that's it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed learning Don't Fear the Reaper by Blue Oyster Cult. 
Um, it's a great riff, really easy to learn. If you're a beginning guitar player, perfect. Um, if you're a guitar teacher, it's a great one to teach a beginning guitar student. And it's just generally a really fun riff to uh, play. Uh, progressions featured in a lot of different songs. If you enjoyed today's lesson, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. I have many other Riffs of the Week lesson. Um, I'm going to continue making them. You can get a free PDF of today's lessons if you shoot me an email. My email is listed in the box below. On my channel, I also have other videos of me playing some songs and doing lessons and whatnot. So I hope you'll check out what I have to offer. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. Share it with a friend. Practice hard. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.